everybody happy saturday it is november 9th and i am up super early this morning i'm on my way to an airport because i'm going out of town for friendsgiving um <coughs> excuse me but yeah i got two videos in this week y'all y'all proud of me but i really hello so many subscribers um thank you so much for subscribing guys please help me get to 500 even better if it's more than 500 um because like i said i'm gonna do a giveaway when i hit the 500 mark um and of course you know just continue spreading the word help my channel grow um so yeah so this video y'all i tell you people are delusional like i have there's more manifestation um happening since this election and y'all it's crazy okay people are legit losing it um like i've seen some videos on tiktok <clears throat> where people are like screaming at the top of their lungs women are divorcing their husbands um because i guess apparently the husbands must have voted for trump i don't know you got women talking about they not gonna have sex for the next four years because they can't murder their baby um like just crazy stuff you got some dude talking about he gonna move, leave the country and go to hawaii that person voted <laughs> thinking that hawaii is a whole separate country but okay yeah i i'm telling you it's it is crazy crazy the people are legit screaming women and men are legit screaming about women losing their rights what rights are we losing because i cannot think of one you can still murder your baby if you choose to do so like that that's that's the right you're talking about that you're losing i mean seriously we use literally have we women in other countries that have zero rights. Women in is in uh, Iran and these other places where they literally have no rights. They cannot look at a man that is not their husband or family member. They cannot drive. If a man is not in the car with them in their house if you can hear them from the outside of their house they're in some serious trouble so they have to use inside voices in their own home but you want to scream and cry because the state gets to decide if you can murder your baby or not you want to sit and cry because Biological men cannot compete against biological women. You really want to talk about women who were losing their rights? Biological women were the ones at risk of losing our rights by being forced to have men in the bathroom with us because they have on a dress, some heels, wig, and a makeup. Talking about they identify as a woman. Women who were sexually assaulted. You're telling them that they have to be in a locker room with a biological man because he identifies as a woman. You're telling women, athletes, that they have to compete against a biological man because he identifies as a woman. Women and men will lose their rights when it comes to their children where their children were literally going to be taken away from them or they or and they can go to jail if they refuse to let their child transition so yeah you want to cry but because of those supposed rights like i the, this country y'all listen the devil is busy okay this is how you know this world is about to go to hell in a handbasket. <clears throat> when you really let you have people crying. Like the world literally is coming to an end because somebody with common sense, somebody 
is now in control of the White House. Y'all, do you know how much things have already changed because of this election? Mexico is telling them people, look, pump the brakes, stop going to America. You need to go do it, the, do it legally. Hamas, ending the war. All these other countries are wanting to work with America again instead of against. And people act like they were saying, oh, he's a Hitler, he's a fascist, he's this, he's that. I can tell you failed history class because you have no clue what a fascist really is. You have no clue what communism really is. You have no clue what kind of man Hitler really is. Like, I, the, and I don't want to name call. But sometimes y'all, there's just there's no other way to put it than other people just get stupid. And then you have pastors like I don't even want to call them man a pastor. You have heathen, not, not even heathens. What do you call the ones uh, hirelings in the pulpit in favor of abortion? Now I understand, like, because he's talking about you can be pro life. But pro choice. But make that make sense. Okay, yeah, you well, you absolutely have the right to live your life how you want to. You know what I'm saying? And I understand how people are like, oh well, stop, you know, trying to push your religion on me. If you can't tell everybody they can't, you know, can't they do this and they can't do that because ultimately like that's between them. I understand that, but the Bible does say that we are to warn people, we are to let people know that when you are having an abortion. You're actually sacrificing your child to Moloch, which is a demon. That's what they were doing in the Bible. And this is something that people do not understand, especially Christians. These demons are still very much alive. You cannot kill a demon at all. So the same demons that were in the Bible, and even way even before humanity was created, these demons are still very much alive and still very much running rampant and are actually have gotten stronger because you're dealing like you're dealing with centuries of demonic spirits. So when you think about Jesus Jezebel and Ahab in the Bible, that's exactly what this last administration was. She was the Jezebel, Biden was the Ahab. Those are demonic spirits. So when people are saying, oh, you have a Jezebel spirit, you have a Jezebel demon. All these feminists, the feminine, feminist movement needs to die. Because women actually do need men, and men need women. So all of this, oh, I don't need a man, and call them black men, you know, this black men, listen, shut up. Because you sound real dumb. You, when God created the nuclear family, you need a man, you need a woman to procreate, which is what God created us to do, to be fruitful and multiply. You cannot do that with two men and two women being together. And then you have these Christians don't know what they're talking about because they don't read the Bible. And if they do read the Bible, they don't have revelation of what they're reading because they have no Holy Spirit. They have no discernment. So everything that we are saying, y'all, this is a spiritual battle. You have all these witches, legit witches, and voodoo priests and all this stuff coming out against Trump. Like, and people, and I'm not saying, like, he's perfect by all, man. He definitely is not, okay? I do not idolize. I don't I have any idols outside of God. But I understand why his presidency is important for this country. Because if this country falls, we have, where are we going to go? You got people in other countries trying to get here. There is no other country.
really going to be the ones trying to do Project 25? The Democrats. And a lot of them are actually waking up. Like when I saw some clips from The View, and one of them actually <laughs> was talking some sense for the first time. Because you have people on the left calling people on the right stupid and they don't, you know, it's just all this stuff attacking. And when you look at the the map that they have that shows you, like, um, the votes and all this stuff, y'all, it is pretty much all completely red. Because people are tired of it. Normal thinking Americans who are in touch with reality understand that children have no business making permanent adult decisions. We understand that children should not be allowed to mutilate their bodies to be something they are not. We understand that the alphabet community stuff has no place in classrooms with five-year-olds. They can't even tie their shoes. They don't know what foot is left or what foot is right, but yet you want to sit there and tell them about LGBTQ stuff. And they can't write their name. Can't even tell you what the name is. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. And then somebody on my Facebook page was like, oh, you know, um, she didn't put it on my page, put it on her page. But she basically was like, here we go, we gotta go back to, you know, the homophobic stuff. Because I ain't nobody scared of nobody in the alphabet community. That is what folks, and that's something else that gets on my nerves too. People using words and not understanding the definition of the word. Phobia means you have a fear of something. Nobody out here is talking about scared of nobody in the alphabet community. that there is only two genders <laughs> does not mean that I have a fear of somebody who thinks they are 72 genders. Like, y'all, these people, I'm telling you, and I really, it's, the, it's more so the demons behind it, right? Because the Bible says the vessel God gets flesh and blood. So, it's not the person, it's the demon that is influencing the person. It's people who do not know the history. Like just having some conversations with people who voted for her, I can tell where they get their information from. Like the media, is just all about I mean the media lies about a whole bunch of stuff. The news is not even a news movie. I have to go to other sources to get the truth because I definitely am not going to get it watching CNN. I'm definitely not going to get it on MSN and NBC. I'm definitely not going to get it on any of these major news sources because they cannot come out and tell you the truth because of who owns them. So yes, I'm glad he said all this is now my freedom of speech is no longer in jeopardy. Hopefully, these news outlets will actually get back to reporting real news and not propaganda. And you have people say, oh, he's this, he's this, he's this. And then it turns out that's not even how he is. And people, like, they listen to these little sound bites. But when you go and you actually watch, like, he gave some kind of speech and he had said something about he was going to be a dictator day one. Now people are like, oh, he's, he's going to be a dictator. He said he's going to be a dictator day one. But if you go back and listen to the entire thing of what he said, you will understand that he was saying that he would be a dictator when it comes to getting these people who are here illegally out of this country. He already came out and said he is cleaning house. So all these people that want to have men in the bathroom with women and have men in women's sports and have your, your children uh, cutting off their penis and all this other stuff to be something they ain't or not. All them people, yeah, they need to be thrown all the way, 
get under the jail. Leave children alone. No child should be out here making no adult decisions. And it's sad that a lot of children have to grow up faster than they need to. And as a teacher, I am absolutely passionate when it comes to children because I believe in protecting these children. It's not my job to be teaching my five-year-old students nothing about gender and sex when they don't even know their alphabet. They can't even spell their name. They can't, don't even know how to hold a pencil and use scissors correctly. What would I look like standing up there teaching them, reading books about the gay ABCs and what binary means? Y'all don't even know what that means. And all these pronouns, if you a man, you a him, you, you are a he. He said, go over there with him. Not they. And all that other crap they got out here going around. Like, y'all, I, anyway, I get so worked up about this stuff because it's just like, I cannot believe. If you would have told me <laughs> when I was 18, that when I turned when did this stuff start? Started four years ago. Actually, it started with Obama when he was making gay marriage and stuff. Leak. Don't even get me started going down that rabbit hole with that. Like, y'all, I... But if you would have told me when I was 18 that at 40, I would seriously be making a video talking about grown people throwing a tantrum because they could not mur murder their baby. Like, and they always want to use the excuse of what if she was, you know, sexually assaulted or, you know, it was, it was incest in the family or, um, you know, stuff like, okay, yes, yeah, stuff like that happens. But those cases are 5% or less of abortion cases. Majority of the abortion cases come from women who do not want the responsibility of raising a child. It can also come because there's having sex with men who don't want children and they're saying you need to go have an abortion. Like, can we just, like, just stop. All that, and somebody else made a good point. It was a guy who said this. Like, just stop holding around. And I'm not saying everybody who gets pregnant and stuff is, is out here just sleeping around and stuff like that. But when I, the women who are hollering out about rights and stuff like this have made it clear that they sleep around. So, y'all, anyway, all I can say is keep President Trump in your prayers um, because you really have people out here that, I mean, some, you know, folks already tried to kill him twice. So I say just keep him in your prayers and be safe <laughs> stay prayed up and make sure that you do your research and stuff so that when you have conversations with people you can shut it all down with facts because i have people be trying to debate me all the time and i'm like everything you're saying is your opinion or what you've been um hearing on false news outlets and from them which is on the view Riding in on them broomsticks every day. So, anyway. Let me go. Have a good day. And I'll see you later.